Nuclear provocation update. It is not just North Korea who can get in on this act. It was an American nuclear weapons test that caused a cloud over Nevada this March, and it didn't take a satellite to see the dust rise. The March 14th test was the first in a new series. U.S. weapons makers are manufacturing a new nuclear bomb, a replacement for four bombs already in our nuclear arsenal. The B-6112 is estimated to be ready for use in 2020. The first in a three-year series of its tests began this March at Sandia National Labs a wholly owned subsidiary of the Lockheed Martin Corporation. Reading from the Sandia Lockheed press release, quote, test day dawn, cloudless and wind free. While observers watched from a tower and more via live video stream, a couple of F-16C jets rose from Nealis Air Force Base near Las Vegas and soared over the 280 miles of the Tonopa Range. Those watching from the tower of the Test Range Operations Center felt excitement and pleasure, they said. But it all worked out as they expected. The only hitch, apparently, was a herd of wild horses who at one point had to be rounded up and headed away from the test site. It is great, they said, to see all things come together. The weapon design, the test preparation, the aircraft, and the people who make it all happen. Everyone involved is supposedly happily hoping that future tests go just as well. The first version of the B-6112 is, as I said, estimated to be ready for use in 2020. That gives everyone a chance to do a lot more tests. It just raises one little question. If North Korean nuclear tests are provocations justifying bombing by foreign powers, what do you think American nuclear tests are? Or to put it more prosaically, who do we think we are? For those living in glass houses, nuclear bombs are one dumb thing to throw around. I'm Laura Flanders. You can write to me, Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com, and tell me what you think. You can also sign up for our free podcast and find all of the archives of this program at our website. That's lauraflanders.com.